for example, if we had this situation, and let's say town, and then let's say city, and a common thing that people want to do is um, extract uh, the text after the hyphen. Hyphen, of course, being one of these uh, little dashes. If you wanted to do that, you could do that using the find formula. So, for example, we'd want to convert this cell to building, convert this cell to town, and convert this cell to city, for example. How would you do that? Well, first, you've got to locate the hyphen in the text using the find formula. So that tells me the position in the entry of the hyphen, control D here, copy paste down. So you can see this is a shorter text string. So it's the third character there. Then you can combine formally together. So if, if we use len now, and len is another one of our text formally, len tells us, what does it tell us? Good old len, good old len. Excel tells us, len tells us the number of characters. So control D here, the number of characters in the text string, 13 characters here, eight characters, seven characters. So if we now say 13 minus five, that's gonna give us the number of characters that we actually want to extract, isn't it? If we take this down, control D, to the total characters minus characters to the left of the um, hyphen and including the hyphen. And then we can just say equals right and then use this value here. So again, point to this text, this value. So really nice Excel modeling exercise there. So extract the text after the hyphen. What we've got to do, we've got to find the hyphen first and find the length of the text string and then uh, the number of characters. That allows us to use right to get what we find formula here, telling us the position of the hyphen. Lem formula telling us the number of characters in the text string. Then this is the number of characters that we want to return. And we get that by subtracting the uh, what's returned by the fine formula from the total length and that allows us to use the right formula to display what we want to display this is a great example of a tricky task in excel that's made much easier by using multiple columns using multiple columns so you could do this all in a single uh, cell you could embed one formula in another formula in another formula and some people look at that and they think oh that's the way to do it because it looks really difficult that must be the smart way to do it. I disagree with that approach. I think you should use more columns, simpler formulae. That means the logic is easier to follow. It also means Excel processes everything more efficiently if you separate out the calculations like this. Can we do a quick a quick challenge here? But let's take our uh, entries again. Let's say this was the challenge here. So we've got some kind of code. And then let's say extract text. Extract the text between the hyphens. And this is a great, a great modeling exercise. So what do we need to do? We need to get a first hyphen, then we need to get a second hyphen, and then we can use the formula to return the text between those two. Right, how do we find a hyphen? So we can use find, or we could use search. Let's just use search, just for the sake of using it. I want to find the hyphen within this text. And just hit enter now. And just like before, we can see search working just like find. You know, there's no problems with case sensitivity here. So we've got the same results. How would we then get the second hyphen? So, and the clue is in the last component of the search or find formula. You see, we've got start number at the end. Start number is our third component. We can actually say to Excel, start searching or finding a character at a particular point in the text string, in the contents of the cell. So effectively, it's ignoring the first three characters. For example, you can say start on the fourth character, start on the 10th character. How might that be interesting for us? Well, it's interesting because we'd like to ignore the first portion of text because we want to ignore the first hyphen and then get the uh, second hyphen. So using search, so find find the, te the text I want to find is of course a hyphen in this text. And then I want to start at, if I say five here, it's just going to return five. But if I say plus one here, that means it's going to start on the character after five. So it's going to start on the sixth character, which is B, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. The 14th character is the second hyphen. So again, nice little modeling exercise, modeling exercise, the power of these formulae and using these optional, optional components of the formula we have at the end, that's sometimes useful. Okay, so we've got the first and second. So what do we need to do now? Let's use the mid formula to extract the text between hyphen. So mid here, text is here, start number is five. So it's actually going to be six, isn't it? Five plus one, and then number is going to be 14 minus one, and plus one 
a minus one just to remove the hyphens because we don't want the actual actual hyphens. Oh, not quite right. <coughs> so what's happened there? Um, mm, 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 14. What's happened there then? So that's right. The beginning is right, but the end is not right. Ooh, ah, because th this is number of characters. Okay. I thought it was the position in the text string. It's not. It's the number of characters. So number of characters is going to be this cell minus uh, the portion at the beginning, which is this cell with another adjustment here. Um, six minus minus one. Is that right? So another adjustment there. That I guess is where we need to be. Control up V here. Just change this to a value to check it. And I can see using F2. Good. So, it's, so the mid formula, um, the mistake I made there is it's not a start point in an end point. It's a start point and then the number of characters, the number of characters that we want to include. It's Chris here. And if you enjoyed this video, I've got a special treat for you. We've got a full one hour session from our Members Monday community. It's absolutely free. All you have to do is sign up, put your email into the link below this video. We will email you some information about our fantastic Members Monday community, but it's absolutely free. It's a one hour session. The link is in the video description below.